Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. This is the scene here in the French capital, Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes on a glorious day for football. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they face Paris FC. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. team looks like this Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal Marco Verratti starts with Fabian in the centre of midfield and in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack and introducing the visitors lineup today well the shape is the same but they may play it in a slightly different way and key to this game will be the fullbacks do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers I hope it's the latter. Interesting 90 minutes ahead of us here. Paris Saint-Germain get things started. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Fabian, opportunity here, and there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here it is again, it was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post, he was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's we'll see what happens next. And the flag raised. Offside it is. going to be punished here well let's see what they have in store for them on the break and a poor ball Attacking possibilities for PSG. Sanchez. Top class defending. Teammates available. Can he put it away? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. And he saw the situation developing. Oh, he's really opened them up here.
Effective pressure to regain possession. A sloppy pass. Iglesias. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? That didn't go to plan in the end. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And close, but offside nonetheless. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Ekitike. Tremendous ball played through. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. This looks interesting. And the keeper there to deal with it. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not the best clearance. Surely! Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Hugo Ekitike. Fabian. Not successfully cut out. Fabian, a gift for any goalkeeper. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. And half-time coming up with PSG on top. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance to this point? Well, oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. On the corner, perhaps an opportunity for Paris Saint-Germain to increase their lead. Going for the short one. Can he convert? Body in the way. Oh, he's lost position. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So back underway, but the scoreline standing at 2-0. Ekitike. Renato Sanchez. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And intercepts again.
And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, his skill level to go past defenders and get shots away has been excellent today. The only surprise, he's just got the one goal. So back underway here into the second half. Just the clearance that was called for. But attacking possibilities. But they took care of the situation defensively. Could be a chance to break here. Defenders need to cover. Real chance. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Gori Amel Jonathan Iglesias Well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Trying to really get at the opposition here And credit is due for that good piece of defending Promising looking attack. Chance to cross. Promising possession, this. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Now, what can they do from here? gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in <laughs> options in the center a very good tackle well as the stats confirm PSG have had the line oh, they could be position. in here Stuart real chance a goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job! Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. the ball rolling again and Paris Saint-Germain are really cantering to victory it appears this might be ideal for the counter will they profit from this situation Renato Sanchez a goal performance this four to the good now well let's look at this again Derek because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick but I think the defending is poor how can the goalkeeper be left so exposed with two players running at him mind you it's still a great team goal This is turning into something of a rout. 4 0. And 
And that pass could be troublesome. Now the task is to remain focused. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Fine cross into the middle. It comes to nothing in the end. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Renato Sanchez. And return to Carlos Soler. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Played over. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Difficult to stop him. Takes the shot. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. And so into the final five minutes. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. And over it comes, and in a crowded area, the keeper has managed to get there. And he's in. Save, but still a chance. And there it is, an almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out.